So here's a quick little tutorial about how you can convert your star map poster uh, into a CMYK image and then save it as a PDF. So uh, if you want, I can, I can send you this script. Uh, what this does is it just sort of flattens everything and makes it into a new document, but it does it without affecting this. Uh, you just install it like any normal action script and uh, I can just email it to you. But when it's all set up, when the action script is loaded and you have your star map uh, designed how, exactly how you want it, just click that script and uh, it'll take a second to run. It's just going to export like a flattened version of that poster uh, to a new tab. So here's the original one. I pressed that button and it exported just the flattened version to this uh, new document here. And now the next thing you want to do is save it as a PDF and this is where you can convert it uh, into CMYK as well. So go to File and then Save As. And uh, make sure PDF is selected from the drop down here. By default, uh, that'll probably be selected. But just make sure that the uh, Photoshop PDF option is uh, selected. And uh, just give it a name. We'll call it Poster uh, Star Map. And uh, I'll click Save. Just save it to my desktop there. And then OK. And uh, it's going to ask me a few more questions before it saves it. And uh, this is where we're going to convert it to CMYK and make sure that the images don't get uh, squished or um, downsampled. It's called downsampling. So Let's go to uh, compression and uh, make sure this is set to do not downsample. Uh, it's probably going to be set to this by default. Just set it to do not downsample. And then go to your output here and uh, do the uh, color conversion. It'll probably have no conversion uh, by default, but I really recommend doing convert to destination. And it'll automatically select the CMYK one. But if it doesn't, if it says anything about RGB or, or any of this nonsense, uh, the alternative is, I think, Photoshop 4 and Photoshop 5. They both do a great job. These are just profiles, like a kind of a recipe for converting RGP to uh, CMYK. So I think this one is, is good. You probably have it uh, if you have Photoshop CC. So I'll select that one. And then we'll go back to General and uh, make sure that this is not selected. This will make the file size a little bit smaller. Then you can just go ahead and do Save PDF. And uh, it'll take just a minute to do that. For some reason on mine, it kind of hangs at 99% for a little bit. So now I'll go to my desktop and uh, I'll test the PDF by uh, opening it up in Chrome. So it was Poster Star Map. That's the one we exported. And I'll go to Open With and then Google Chrome. And we'll see how it looks. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big file. And uh, when people print it, uh, it should automatically scale it to fit the page. But you might want to mention that to your clients. Make sure that it's not like getting tiled on like six pages. Make sure that their printer is scaling it to fit. Uh, the other thing they need to watch out for is uh, what, what kind of settings their printer has, obviously. A PDF can't really tell a printer how high of a quality it should print. I mean, the PDF can be 1,000 DPI, but if the printer has like a ink saving mode setting or something like that, it's still just going to print poorly. So make sure they check the settings and uh, make sure they, I guess, read the manual <laughs> for their printer. But some printers have weird, weird DPI settings. So maybe you might mention, make sure your printer is set up in photo print mode or something like that. Because even laser printers, uh, I think by default, they'll print at 150 DPI, but it's possible for them to actually go higher, I think. But anyways, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, just let me know if you have any questions, and uh, I'll email this all to you in just a moment.